So today I want us to do what? I want us to switch. I want us to discuss about outline design. And um, I need you to tell me if you can see my screen. Yes. I just want to close the few tabs I have left open so that I'm able to, to give the input lecture. So I don't know what you guys uh, did with regards. Let me see. What you did with regards. The conceptual design. Did anyone manage to upload a few functional relationship diagrams? Look at concepts. Think of this managed. Hmm? Baraka managed. All right, so Baraka, let me just look at what you have. <coughs> These files are too heavy. You guys need to learn how to zip files or share them so that they are less bulky. Okay, so let's go to the jam board. Okay. So um <clears throat> when we talk of uh When we talk of functional relationship diagrams, yeah. it's working in my favor. So when we talk of now concepts here, yeah, you have an idea, um, you borrowed from it to get the form. Now we want to see how we can carve out spaces based on the relationship that they share with each other and as a whole. So that's where now functional. Relationships come in. So the first thing you do is you have to have your site. So if, if for instance, this was our site because we had the road leading up to, um, what is this leading up to the first hill or the second hill, then we apportioned some of the site along here.
Yeah. So when it comes to now functional relationship diagrams, the first thing you're supposed to do the site sort of takes a regular trajectory with a bit of irregularity. So the first thing you do is that you ought to first list down what are these spaces you're dealing with here. Yeah? So for instance, if this is your road and this is your access, you may point out probably that's where the main access is from the site. Please mute once you join. Kindly mute once you join the call. Okay, so once you do that, the next is to understand what spaces are we dealing with. Um, from the brief, what spaces did we have? Guys, what spaces did we have from the brief? From the initial um, list where we were doing the analysis for the rooms. Mm -hmm. um, it was those living room. Mm -hmm. So we have probably a lounge. Uh huh. What else? There's the kitchen. There's the living room, the kitchen, the dining room. Mm -hmm. So probably we may have dining. We may have kitchen. Okay. Then there was also the office. Mm -hmm. Or studio. And then there was also a gallery. Mm hmm. And then there was also the children's rooms mm -hmm. and the kids' rooms and an outdoor recreational area. So maybe we may talk of this is the recreational area and we may have maybe the kids' room. Yeah? So the first step you do, it's quite simple but it also requires a bit of rationale to it. If you already established that this is your main access point at that area there, then maybe your first question is, what do you want the space to be? Yeah? Which spaces, if you are to follow, say, something we call a privacy gradient, yeah? which spaces are more public, which spaces are more private, yeah? So you find, for instance, the lounge could be a public space. The gallery, depending on how you want to put it, may also fall in a public or semi-public space. We may have the dining, the kitchen, the study. It, the, was there a study or a show? A studio, sorry. Studio. The office, yeah? So based on this, now it's up to you to come up with various or different um, relationship diagrams, yeah? You may even decide to come up with a legend where you say, for instance, if between two spaces I'm using a line that's like that, that would mean maybe it's a strong relationship. If between the two spaces my line is sort of thicker, maybe that's an, let's see, let's see the type of lines I can come up with. Is not working. You can also use a color code to grade, yeah, to differentiate. This one is a bit lighter. So you may decide to differentiate. You're going to use, let me see, a good color. So you can even use, I don't know why it's giving me this. Okay, so based on this, you may talk of this being a weak relationship. A weak, this could be a mid, or it's just average, or this could, and this could be strong. Yeah, so now based on your legend, you now come and start giving the different relationships. So the first question would be based on this also privacy gradient, which spaces are more public, which spaces are more private? Um, what relationship, for instance, would exist between the dining and the recreational area? Anybody? Didn't get uh, okay. Personally, I didn't get the first part. The screen had disappeared. 
I'm asking, once you have the spaces that you need, yeah, you just use the different sizes of circles, okay, or bubbles, yeah, to come up with the various spaces that you need to cater for, okay? Then the next step is you develop a legend which shows the different um, levels of, of, of relationship that two or three spaces may have. It may be a weak relationship, a strong relationship, or a mid or average relationship, yeah? So now, based on that legend, you've already established that's your legend, okay? So based on this legend, and you already have these spaces, and you have your main entry point being this area here, so the next question would be, what relationship exists, for instance, between the lounge and the dining? Is it a weak? Is it strong? Is it average? I'd say that it's um, it's a strong relationship. Okay, so if it's strong, then using your pen, you just come and give us this. What if it's an average relationship? Like, if it's an average it's an, relationship, I think it's, it's an average. average. Yeah. Yeah. So like, it might be like I might ha I might be having a kitchen that is open plan. Then on the kitchen side is when I have the dining area. So the lunch is separate from the two. Did you get my point, Malim? 